think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Better late than never. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Right, watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, Dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. You won't find me in a voting booth.
Hello? Dr. Munchie? Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. This is the place, right? It must be. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Dr. 
Dr. Munchie? Can you hear me? Hello? All right, we need a code. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, Munchie. Born 1988, July 16. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, 
Let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Get here. Better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? Hold on. Should keep Osama out. Call him away to lock up the cops out. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running somewhere. How did I do that?
working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Service console upsilon three, including pilot seat activated. I know they told you that field technicians would get full. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Security cipher updated.
What was that? It, it doesn't hurt anymore. Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Ah, oh, signal... Damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 some place dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh... Yeah, you're probably in the thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, heck to the comm center. 
doctor upstairs. I'll wait here. <laughs> Are you human? Shit, did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. So, where are you exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be. I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here. See? Okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances. You know that? How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. 
What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, remoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields, and that's my last clear memory. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Listen, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. I'm really hurting here. I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Won't a mechanic make more sense? You're trying to be fucking funny? Get me a medic. But you're a robot. Really? The robots have legs, hands, a face. You're delusional. Okay, calm down. I, I won't... Get some fucking help! Can you hear me? Hey. Can you hear me? Hey. He's dead? He's dead. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Backup turbo's going. Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. 
Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting a rock off.
Thank <laughs> you. 
How's the evac coming in? Hello? Peter, was it? Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but... I'm... I'm pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning off the power. Oh. Well... You know, robots don't feel anything, so... Yeah. What was that? Whoa! I think this place is about to collapse! What do I do?! Uh, how, how do I get there? Shit! 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 Where do I? Where should I? Oh, fuck. This is insane!
better answer me, Strasky. Come on! Amy, where, where are you? In the field. I had to leave. Is Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on. You, you got the power automated, right? The, the plant is safe? We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasky! The machines killed Carl! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, all right, um, calm down. It'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yeah. I think so. I'll head for the shuttle, the Ox. Good luck, Amy. Rooting for you. That'll still work. How did I... Where did I get a flashlight? Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help.
Mira. What? I can't. Where are you now? Strasky! I'm at the shuttle. But it's not looking good. The lights. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? Ah! 
Jesus Christ! What the hell? Find Lambda, right? I mean, really, how big can this ocean be?
you got an army. Very handy. No, not you two. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. I can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. All right, time for plan B. What's plan B? Oh, the Omni tool. The tool you inserted into the terminal. Oh. Yeah, the door opener. Yeah, you can pull my Cortex chip and put it into the Omnitool. What's a Cortex chip? It'll be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just... I need you to do this one thing for me. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? All right, let's give this a try. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. Have a nice day. If there's pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well... I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. He came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, silent. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Check the computer in the other room. What was it said before you heard the comment? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Say something? Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea.
told you. Go check the computer in the other room. What happened before? That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing at least. This is a good punch. Check the computer. Yes, look for anything about that. Are you excited about what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Is this from inside the ark? Yes. That's some early memories of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I found it. It's at a site named Tau. If we got to it, could could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there, and you'll show me what to do. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the Climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get around. Great.
the escape vessel. See if we can't get this thing moving. Uh, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there. Like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know, I'm going. Something is stabilizing the ship. We need to let it know this is an emergency. Oh, I'm 
you know anything about dark metallic cords that seem to be feeding off the machinery? Huh? Oh, you mean the WoW is here. What? That's what's keeping the ship together. Pull them, Simon. Pull them all down. Steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm up after the navigator. We're heading for the main. It should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the wow is keeping the cherry from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station wide artificial intelligence called the wow. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like... Uh, it's more like a cancer. Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Brace for impact! Hold on! The blast just pushed us over the plateau! What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead.
Oh, hey, little guy. Didn't expect to see you again. Don't worry, Kath. I'll find a way to say uh...
Probably for the best. Not sure I trust the shuttle train anymore.
can you hear? Transport active. Unspecified cargo. The Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. That's definitely the Zeppelin. Disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ah, uh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I had to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. I, I feel awful. The robots only appear intelligent. They're much more like dogs than humans. I wouldn't hit a dog. Sorry, the poor choice of words. I don't want to hurt anything. Well, we need a tool chip or we're stuck here. Guess I have no choice. you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure.
slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. All right. Okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing world superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon.